Hey guys and good morning and welcome back to another week's vlog. Wow, I look so tired this morning and a mess. I haven't got my hair cut in like a few weeks now because I just haven't been able to get an appointment. But hopefully like next weekend I'll be able to get it done. But basically I am on my way now. Hold on, let me try to find like to get the back of that in. Yep, I am on my way over now to a over to a house because I have to measure and take pictures and stuff. Um, because I have the potential to be maybe decorating that house. So yeah, that's very exciting. And also in the background is this whole mess of a kitchen that's getting done. It's like a bomb head at the minute, but I'm not gonna show you anything, well, anything more than what you can already see because that will all be revealed in the behind the scenes to the kitchen. Part, there'll be two parts to the behind the scenes, I think, because I have like a lot of footage recorded, so look forward to them. Um, so they'll probably be going up when I'm in Venice, so when I come back from Venice then, you'll have the Venice vlog, so like guys, this is so exciting. <laughs> So I'm up in psych right now, obviously, and if I look super exhausted in this, it's because I am. I had such a horrible like night sleep last night, like the worst ever. But I just want to like give you an update of what's been going on so far. So, um, on Monday we had a presentation in our studio, and it wasn't like a proper presentation. Like we weren't getting marked on it. It was just kind of like to see where we're at and we had a nice assignment like one of the briefs were due on Monday but when they gave us the briefs they don't really explain it to us like really well so none of us had it done the way they wanted it done so so three people went before me and then it was my turn and I went up and one of the lectures was already kind of in a bad mood anyway but when I was giving my presentation like they didn't even like let me explain why I had chosen what I had chosen because well, before I could even like get to that they started saying why, where is this, why didn't I do this um, this isn't what we asked, we asked for this, who done this, who designed it but like none of that was under brief so it was just really really annoying and then I also like kind of talked back because I wasn't just going to stand there and let them like just embarrass me like in front of everyone so I kind of like talk back to them and then she was like it wasn't amazing how everyone else can bite their tongue but you can't, you have to like answer back and I was like I wasn't answering back, I'm just frustrated because this took me a while to do and you're saying that I needed a designer and all this other stuff, who designed all this kind of stuff when you didn't ask for that but if you asked for that I would have had it. So. And then I said that next time they give a brief, they have to be more clear of what they want. If they want a specific thing, they have to ask for a specific thing. They can't put down a brief and for it to be really broad and expect us to have all the exact same thing and for all these other things that they want in it. Like, this doesn't make any sense. But anyway, that was really annoying yesterday. Then today I went and the lecturer who was kind of being like the process, um, she apologised for like, you know, being like a meanie, um, but then she was saying that she's only so hard because, you know, um, she wants me to do well and she's like, I have really good potential and all this and I was like, thank you, whatever. Um, and it was really nice for her to come and apologise and find me and like just make sure I'm okay because she asked if I was okay from yesterday and I was like, yeah, but then... I met the other one on the way out 
and she straight away was like kind of in a grumpy mood anyway because I could see it in her face and she was like okay I need to talk to you and I was like right side I was with like Natalia when I go on because Natalia needs to get like foam or something and literally 20 minutes 20 minutes to basically say that she doesn't want me doing interior design outside college because it takes too much takes up too much of my time and I'm not giving studio as much of my time and she said that college is a full-time job so you, any jobs outside college you shouldn't be doing and I was kind of like well that's nice for you to say that but I mean I kind of need to work you know to survive but, but then she was saying that when she went out into practice on her own for the first time she was very she was very selective whatever and now when she started teaching she was very selective and she wouldn't take on jobs unless she had time to and then she'd always tell the client that oh well, I'm doing this as well so like it would be a very dragged out process basically of a design instead of it being done right then and there. So I was like, I was kind of nodding my head or whatever because I was like, I just don't want to listen to this, I don't care. Like, just because you tell me this again this year, she said this to me last year, I'm not going to just stop doing like my interior design outside of college because it's, it's so fun, I love it and it's not like work, it's like kind of excite. it's exciting all the time. So um, I do put in... I could put in more, more effort to studio, yes I could, but you know, I just want to pass this course, I'm not like trying to be like the best student or like to get the best results ever, because it's college, like it's not like my main priority, it's not, I should be, but like it's not, it's not like what I get up with more of like, I'm going to be the best in college, I'm going to do the best in college, I'm more like, I want to be the best in this practice, I want to do the best in this practice, I want to design for people like that's my mind frame at the minute and I want to make videos and I want to show other people what I can do and how I do it and it's just she doesn't understand that and she thinks I'm coming at it as, from a marketing point of view but I'm not I'm coming at it as like this is why this is what I'm interested in this is what I wake up every day thinking like oh that's fun but anyway so I'll tell you what happened last night. So my brother and Adrian or whatever, they had like pre-drinks here. So it's like, you know, you have drinks before you go out. And I had like a massive assignment that I had to get done. Also, I was doing a meat board and a concept board for a client. And I had to get that done last night so I couldn't go out. But it wasn't just pre-drinks. It was like a house party. Literally, they came at about nine o'clock. So from nine o'clock, I can't, this is where I'm in the kitchen right now. So this is where I normally work because it's like bright and, it's airy and I just prefer it and I don't like working in my room because when I'm in my room I want to like go to sleep and it's just not good so I'm here I know I'm supposed to be working when whatever so they had all their friends over and it's from 9 o'clock and it was fine it wasn't too loud then about like half nine ten came and it just started getting, it started getting louder people day over and the stairs started getting louder and I like get to get up at like half five you know six o'clock so I was like, right, I need to go to sleep because otherwise I'm going to be exhausted to say I'm not going to be able to get as much done, be like as energetic as I would want to be. So I was like there tossing and turning, like trying to fall asleep and like, you know, I had on the, um, I had Modern Family on the laptop, like to kind of tune out the like do, do, do music downstairs and literally it was so loud and the vibrations were so bad. I have a mirror that's on like my dresser. It was like, so the mirror's here and the dresser's here. It was like do, do, do like almost falling off okay so then they were there so I couldn't fall asleep this day left about half 12 couldn't fall asleep till about then they all left and it was like silence it was like way nicer so I fell asleep dead and then at about half two I heard a big doof like on my window but I thought it was my laptop because my laptop's like on the table beside me here beside my bed I opened my laptop like falling on the floor like crashing so I got up and I was like Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and then another doof came at the window when I woke up and I was like, what the fuck is that? And then like a couple, like a minute later, another doof came at the window and I was like so scared. I was like, oh my god, someone's trying to break into the house. I'm going to be like murdered or whatever. Then I heard Dean's voice and the key go and I was like, oh, so the guys are back home. And I was like really annoyed first of all that I was woken up, I have to, really annoyed. Then they came upstairs and like it said it'd been like quiet. And like they were like shouting and roaring and like laughing and stuff so I was like really annoyed and then they went back downstairs and I fell back asleep and then 
five o'clock in the morning they came, I heard them again shouting and screaming and laughing so I woke up again at five and I just stayed awake and got up at five because I couldn't go back to sleep then and that's why I'm exhausted. But yes, quick like little update what's going on. I'm gonna show you my project I'm doing so far. So So let me see. Right. So <clears throat> basically, right. We're doing this like thing about hip hop, wherever hip hop is like. We have to well, like I picked hip hop because I want to like do Rihanna, um. But we have to kind of design furniture that represents that kind of genre. So I have here like a I done this first one wrong. See, I feel like the way they teach is like I don't know. It's very like like it has to be done this way. You can't do your own way of doing things. See, when I like like to design some, my mind goes like into a space where I start like, for example, putting together like different kind of colors and patterns together and layering up and seeing like mixing around with like different kind of textures and colors and materials. Like that's how I like to do it. And then my mind kind of goes on to like how I could integrate that to furniture and whatever. And then like different kind of cutouts. And then these are like the words that we kind of had to pick that kind of represented the music that we showed in class. And then like, the, I, I wouldn't do this, but I was told to do this, like just to kind of um, do sketches out of how I would have got my concept models, even though I don't do concept models um, because I don't find them fun and they stress me out. I prefer to kind of do this sort of thing, but this was wrong apparently, so. I had to do this out, which is really like ugly and stupid, but you know what? And like kind of show the words and how they have meaning to them. Like solid, um, circular, reflective, which is intimate, movements, um, diamond, layers, depth, detail, complex, like stupid stuff like that, like seductive, you know, and then like that kind of form, you know, very seductive and whatever. And then this is like the vision statement. Um, this is apparently wrong as well, whatever, and then we had to get, hold on, let me get this up here. So we had to get furniture, right, and then we had to like kind of get furniture like you, that fit in with, the, oh my god, what happened? Oh, well anyway, we had to get furniture that fit in with the whole um, concept, so like it had to connect back to like, you know, the genre of music and represent it. So I picked like these different types of chairs and I put them up on that screen. I'll insert like a picture of it on the screen here. And this is like my anal analyzation of the furniture. So this is the shit I put up one day because they're giving it to me. And I was kind of explaining why I chose each piece and how it represented each of the words because of my vision statement, that's what I said. And it all connected up. So then they said I was wrong, I need sketches, even though I never said I need to know who designed them, even though they, they never said that. But I have to know who designed them, and um, where they were made, all this stupid stuff plan. Hey guys, and wow well, it looks today, but I just wanted to close up this vlog right here. My video, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.